So have you ever heard of Nikola Tesla's 369 divine code? If you've ever wondered about the mysteries of the universe, it's probably fair to assume you're a little bit familiar with some of Nikola Tesla's work. This revolutionary man from a long time ago in history had some incredible things to say about the creation process and our interaction with the universe, things that quantum science, well, it's only now just beginning to catch up with. And Nikola Tesla had a secret divine code locked in with the numbers 3, 6 and 9. It's largely still misunderstood. But today we can take Nikola Tesla's divine code of 3, 6 and 9 and use the energy from these numbers to manifest our dreams by empowering our manifestation process with the law of attraction. Folks, the technique we're going to chat about today can be more powerful than even the 55 by 5 or the 2 cup because it brings strong alignment. Today you're going to find out all about it. My name is Ben. Welcome to the Elevate channel. Let's kick straight on into it. Well, thank you for joining me today, folks. I'm so blessed by your company. I'm so glad you found the channel and I hope that you love your time here. If you do, why not consider subscribing and joining our family here on this little corner of the internet. I post videos much like this one every single day of the week, every day of the year. So browse the channel and reach out if you need a hand tracking towards your dreams and goals. But today, folks, I wanted to talk with you briefly about Nikola Tesla and his 369 code. You know, it was actually Tesla who said all those years ago, if you want to unlock the secrets of the universe, you must learn to think in terms of energy and frequency and vibration. And all those years ago, well, no one knew what Tesla meant. Was he just some wacko scientist? Was he some weird type of projectionist, what was going on with frequency and vibration and energy. But of course, now we know with the advances in modern science in the quantum field, that in fact, what Tesla said low those many years ago was absolutely true. If you want to understand the universe, our involvement with it and the way it interacts with us, you don't think about the world as we see it, do you? We think about vibrational alignment. We think about the energy and the substance at the core, the matter that actually makes up our manifested reality. We know that the law of vibration decrees that everything moves, nothing is still. Anything that you examine with a powerful enough microscope reveals the core of what makes up that thing. Now, whether that's a painting hanging on a wall, a hair from your head, it could be even a rock in the side of a cliff in the bush. If you examine it closely, what you see are millions of particles vibrating at a sustained frequency, and it is the frequency that dictates what the physical manifestation is we observe with our eyes. So we know Tesla was actually right when he said, think in terms of frequency, think in terms of vibration. So what the heck was Nikola Tesla on about when he perpetually spoke about his divine code, the 369? 369, 360 degrees is a circle, 3 plus 6 is 9, it's the circle of life. You know, I've read accounts of Tesla, and by all accounts, he was a perplexing man. But you know, I've read accounts of him and his, with this 369 divine code, how he would walk around a block three times before he went into a building. Just incredible things like there was something he knew about the power behind these numbers, their vibration, their energy, the alignment that they can bring. 
So folks, an incredible way to harness the power of this divine code is to simply begin using it in your walk. You see, we as a human species, we've, we've come to an age in time where well, we sort of have a not just a destination addiction, you know, we're addicted to being where we want to be, not having the journey to get there, but we're also addicted to being right, or to having to be right, or to having to have answers, rather than being a people of questioning. So the issue for us comes in the realisation that we ask questions, we have to have answers, but instead, sometimes it's more powerful to sit in the pocket of something that you actually don't understand, and to let it have its fullness of power, to let it do its work in your life in the miraculous way that it was always supposed to. So something that I love to teach people, something I love to share people, is the simplicity of incorporating 3, 6 and 9 into your manifestation journey, into your creation process. Perhaps you've heard of manifestation techniques, perhaps you've even used them. Quantum jumping with the two cup method. The 55 by 5, now that's a great one for reprogramming the subconscious. And something very similar that we can do and yet unique and uniquely powerful is adapting the 55 by 5 to use Nikola Tesla's Divine 369 code. Now you might say to me, Ben, what exactly do you mean? What I'm encouraging you to do, folks, what I'm inviting you to do is to empower your creation process with an affirmation that we write morning, noon and night. We surround ourselves with this affirmation. You know when you have heard about things like the 55 by 5 and we talk about writing an affirmation down 55 times in a day, doing it five days straight. Folks, there's no magic to the power behind that. All the 55 by 5 does is it effectively puts your subconscious mind into receiving a new program. That's the mode that it shifts into. Because there's so much repetition, and we know that repetition reinforces learning. So because there's so much repetition, it opens the gates to the subconscious and allows us to start installing a new program. One that says, I'm so thankful and grateful that money in abundance comes quickly and freely towards me. Whatever your affirmation, your power statement is, so in the same way, can I encourage you to take a step of faith and to understand that while we don't need to have the answers, we can appreciate the fact there is power in what Tesla taught all those years ago. There is power in three and six and nine, and there is power in repetition. So if you want to add a new feather to your bow, if you want to add a new tool to your tool belt of manifesting in the creation process, use Tesla's 369 code. Write an affirming statement three times in the morning, six times at lunchtime, and nine times before you go to bed. Keep doing it until you feel it become part of you. Do it for a week, do it for two weeks, do it for a month. You will feel a tangible shift in your inner alignment, your energy field. You will physically feel it. You will be writing your affirmation and one day, in three days or two weeks or 21 days or the second time you do it, you will physically feel something shift into alignment. You'll get goosebumps, it will be physically tangible and when that happens, you can know that you have empowered the creation process with Tesla's Divine 369 code. Folks, it's that simple. Writing an affirmation just one time, well, that's powerful. Writing that affirmation three times when you get out of bed in the morning sets your day up for success. Checking back in with yourself at lunchtime and recounting that affirmation six times over. Rewriting that statement down six times over. When you're in the thick of the day, when you're in the midst of the energy field of your workaday world, when the phone's ringing, you've got appointments to attend, things are happening, there's a to-do list that's as long as your arm and you feel like home time's never gonna come. Take a few minutes and just write that affirming statement, that power statement. Write it down just six times. 
There's magic in these numbers, folks. And when you come to the end of your day, and it's time to process everything that's happened, every harsh word that's been said, every piece of toxic energy, every blessing, every bit of uplifting company you've had, when it's time to process it all and make sense of it all, rewrite your affirming statement nine times over. Three in the morning, six at lunch, nine at bed. Three, six, nine. Do it until you feel that internal resonance kick in inside of you. You will feel it. When you do, you can be sure now that your creation process has come into full swing. You are in the manifestation process. Use this secret divine code revealed by Nikola Tesla all those years ago to lift your vibration, to come up higher in your thought life, and to stay on that high, high plane of projected vibration. We know, folks, that we receive from this world what is on the radar of our subconscious mind. You see, the job of the subconscious is simply to analyze every piece of information that surrounds us, all that is around about us in the world. And out of all of those millions of pieces of stimulation that we see and taste and feel and hear every second, the only thing the subconscious does is it brings to our awareness the pieces of stimulation, the pieces of information that validate the program of the subconscious. So if we want to manifest we need to shift subconscious programs. And to shift a subconscious program, we need to begin pummeling that subconscious with a new program, with a new set of instructions, with a new way forward, so that when all this information flows in in our day, the subconscious, well, it's looking for new bits of information. Instead of looking for the arguments and the fight and the discontentment, your subconscious is now so thankful and grateful for that thing. It's, it's out looking for it. It's out looking to validate its own beliefs and its own framework by bringing those people, those manifestations, those experiences into your reality. So get a handle on your subconscious. And you can begin today by using Nikola Tesla's 369 approach. So in recapping and in closing out today's message, when you get up in the morning, use your affirming statement, whatever that may be, and write it down three times. And then at lunchtime, revisit it. And this is an important one because we break up the energy of the day with a full stop and a gap that says, I'm devoting this time to moving forward. So disrupt the energy of the day and re-inject the energy of your affirmation, that which you're moving forward to. And then at nighttime, before you go to bed, have some quiet time. Have some peace and quiet with your thoughts. And write your affirmation out nine times. Three and six and nine. Morning and noon and night. Not only will you enter into the reprogramming phase of the subconscious mind, but you will be unlocking one of the great mysteries of the universe. You will begin to think in terms of frequency, and vibration and energy, you will see alignment around about you where previously you hadn't seen it. Why? Because your subconscious mind is now, instead of running wild and showing you all of the evidence of the things you were taught as a child, money doesn't grow on trees. If you want to be successful, you've got to climb the corporate ladder and stand on heads. All of these things are limiting beliefs that will cause your manifestation to stop and wait miles down the road from you because your subconscious is going out ahead of you and finding experiences that validate its own framework and it's bringing that to your awareness. But when we reprogram our subconscious and we do it powerfully with Tesla's divine 369 code, well, we download a new program. We download one that says, money doesn't grow on trees, but it comes quickly and freely to me in abundance. And for that, I'm so thankful. You see the difference here because now the subconscious goes out and finds opportunities that were already there, but that previously were nowhere even close to being on your radar. Your subconscious mind will set out about you 
and it will bring back to you a return that validates its own beliefs. So get the beliefs of your subconscious in check. So the beliefs that are being validated by your subconscious actually serve your higher purpose. They serve your soul's mission. Not the programs that were given to you as a child. Not the programs that were to keep you down and keep you defeated and keep you as a slave to your life. It's time to rewrite the books on the programming of the subconscious. And it's as simple as repetition. Repetition reinforces learning. Tesla was onto something all those years ago, folks. We know that what he said about understanding the secrets of the universe through energy and frequency and vibration, we know through the advances in the quantum field that that is absolutely correct. We know through the advances in the quantum field that a universe can't even exist without there being consciousness first to observe that universe. So use your consciousness to observe the universe you want to live in. If you want to live in a universe that's full of freedom and liberty and abundance in wild proportions, where love and peace is the order of the day, then decide now to begin observing that universe. As you observe it with your thoughts, with your visualization, your subconscious will transform this universe into the one you want. Why? Because it's already there. It comes from within you. It's just a matter of choosing to observe the reality you wish to observe. So, what are you waiting for, folks? Give it a go. Give it a shot. You've got nothing to lose and a world of manifestation to gain. You will enter the creation process when you effectively reprogram your subconscious. You can do that using Tesla's Divine 369 code. So give it a shot and let me know how you go. But folks, that's all I've got time for today. So I hope that this message has encouraged you. I hope it's lifted you up. And I hope that you've taken just a second to subscribe to the channel. Now, do us a favor and do yourself one too. Share the video around. Bless somebody with these words too. If you do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, but do come back again tomorrow. I love you so much and I'm thankful for the time we spend every day. So, I'll see you in the morning. Peace.